Hey guys, so I know I'm like the worst YouTuber ever and I haven't vlogged or put a video up for a while. Life has just been pretty crazy, but I'm trying to be better. I want to get back into making videos and everything. So I thought I would go ahead and vlog today because I have some stuff to do. Right now I'm at the post office because I have to send out some thank you cards that I wrote. I just had my bridal shower last weekend and we're having a second one um, over where my fiance lives this weekend. So I wanted to get all of the ones done for my shower this week so that the thank you cards didn't like double. But yeah, I just had my bridal shower last Saturday and it was so much fun. I absolutely loved it. I felt so loved and I'm really excited for this weekend because it's kind of an engagement party slash bridal shower. So my fiance will be there and it will be co-ed. So I'm really excited. It's going to be really fun, but I have some things I have to get done before um, this weekend. Like I said, I'm just going to mail these out quick. I got to run to the bank and cash a deposit I have for a bride and then get gas. Then I'm going to go on a little road trip because the bridesmaids dresses are in and since I'm going this weekend um, over to Minnesota I was going to pick up my soon-to-be sister-in-law's dress and my cousin's dress because they both live in Minnesota. So I thought I would just go take a little road trip pick them up today. I'm really excited to see what they look like and see the dress in the color we picked. I really hope it looks good. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited to see that. And then I might go do a little bit of shopping afterwards too, because I kind of want to find an outfit for this weekend. So it's going to be a fun day. <laughs> okay. Done. Thank you. Have a good one. Now we are ready to go. I just saved like 15 cents per gallon. I don't know if that's one of their quick trip rewards or whatever, but when I scanned my card, it said, do you want to save 15 cents per gallon? And I'm like, heck yeah, I do. So it only cost me like 207. So that was pretty nice. But now we are on our way to get some bridesmaids dresses. Okay guys, so I'm almost there. I'm just a couple blocks away. I kind of jimmy rigged a little like situation so that my camera stayed on my dash. I still don't know quite how well it's gonna stay. I really need to invest in a little mount or tripod for my car, but I can't find one. But anyway, I am almost there. Like I said, I'm just a couple blocks away. I don't think I'm able to film inside of there. So I will show you guys what the dresses look like still, or at least the color of them um, once I go in and get them. Okay. Parking. I think I can park up here though. And I think I can actually maybe go in that door. So that would be awesome. What is this car doing? Oh my gosh. You guys, we got just pounded with snow the last few days. And the snow banks are just so big. They're like coming into the road. So if you could hear that, I was like driving on the snow bank because it's so big. <laughs> But I just got here, I'm gonna go in and get the dresses and then I will show you what they look like. So I just got them and they're in the bags but this is the color we're doing like taupe and navy. Um, I absolutely love them. They're very like simple, classy, like not a lot of like texture going on. Let's see if I can show you the top. It's kind of hard to see in the bag but they're just like really cute, simple like v-necks and oh my gosh, I really, really love them. I think they're gonna look so sinking good. I'm so happy. So I picked up the girls who I'm going to see this weekend. Um, and then my matron of honor is going to come get hers um, next week. But yay, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. The dresses look perfect. It's so nice like seeing instead of just like a little swatch, like seeing the color or the dress in the color and how it's all going to look. So I think 
It's gonna fit like my vision perfectly. I'm so excited. So really happy I got those. I'll probably like maybe take one out of the bag when we get home when I get home um, to show you what it really looks like because it's kind of hard to tell with the glare of the bag, um, even like the color of it. But I'm so pumped. I'm I don't know what time it is actually. It's 11:21, and I'm going to probably run to the mall. Or at least like TJ Maxx, Ross, um, like those places, maybe even Home Goods. But I want to find a outfit for this weekend. I did order a dress off of Amazon and it should be here today. Just in case that doesn't work out because I actually already ordered a dress and it came and it was like way too big. And I just didn't think that even in my size that it would look nice. <laughs> so hopefully the one from Amazon Prime works, um, but I just kind of wanted to go scope out and see if I could find something else as a backup just in case. And I could always wear it for like rehearsal dinner and all that stuff. But our bridal shower slash engagement party this weekend is a black and white theme. So everybody is wearing all black and white. So I did order a white dress, but in case that doesn't work out, I just wanna go kinda see if there's anything that just kinda jumps out at me. Um, but I am also starving right now, so I'm just gonna eat a little snack quick. I did pack like a little lunch with me because I didn't wanna, one, waste money on fast food, and two, I'm trying to eat healthier because I got a wedding dress that I gotta fit into. So I get it altered in three weeks. So I'm trying to be like really, really good. Um, I mean, up to the wedding, but especially for alterations. So I just packed a little thing of yogurt and like plain vanilla yogurt, um, a little thing of just like plain tuna and then some like bagel bites. And then also, if you guys haven't tried these, I picked like a 32 or 36 case up at Sam's Club, but it's the Nestle water brand and they have like flavored waters. And normally I do not do flavored waters at all, but these taste like juice. They don't taste like the carbonated flavored waters and I love them. The lemon and wild berry are my favorites. The wild berry actually reminds me of like when I was young and you know those Kool-Aid like twist off the plastic top things like that's what it tastes like, but it's water. But yeah, so I'm just gonna eat something quick and then head over towards Ross and TJ Maxx. I don't wanna spend a lot of money, especially since I already ordered a dress. But I just kinda wanted to see if there was like a cute top or if it, there was a dress specifically. I would love to have like a dress for our shower, but we'll see. So I'm just gonna eat something quick and then we'll go shopping. I just got to Ross, but look what I just did to my nail. It like just ripped in half. And all I was doing was driving. It's like winter weather and dry air is for the birds because my nails suck. All my nails are breaking. They're peeling. Like, look at it. Oh, it's so sad. I'm just gonna file this quick and then we'll go into Ross and see if we can find any cute like bridal looking outfits. Okay, how cute is this dress? It's got like a high neck, little flouncy sleeves. And it looks like it would be below my knee. So hopefully, and then I found this, which I thought was adorable. And then just a couple tops like this one. And that's like a little crop top thing. So I'm really hoping this fits, but it might be a little too form fitting. So we'll see. So this is a gnome. It's a little too tight and you can see like my underwear through it. Okay, so this is pretty weird too. Um, it's like a romper, one piece thing. Um, I think it's just too short because it's like really pulling. And I don't really know about like that either. I think it's kind of weird. The concept is cute, but just not on me. It's one of those that definitely looked cuter on the rack. I liked like the little eyelet like details, but then this has like cheetah imprint in it and it's just, it's not cute. So this one's not terrible. It's like a crop. And if I wear my black pants with it, it might look cute in a black cami. But these things are just like so long. 
like and they had them tied but it looks kind of stupid <laughs> i felt i'm just like not feeling any of these so we're gonna keep going if they don't have anything else here we'll go to tj max and see if they have something okay guys so no luck in ross i found the perfect like bride white dress and it was like a size too small because it was one of those like lace overlay dresses so the lace doesn't like give it all so it was just a little too tight in my stomach and booty area so decided not to do that and then the other shirts I found just like I didn't love them at all so I passed on them but I did score some really cool things for my bridesmaids which I was debating showing on here because I know some of my bridesmaids watch my videos so I didn't want to like spoil the surprise. I think I'm going to wait because I think I'm going to actually do a whole video on like the gifts I got my bridesmaids for the wedding day and show you all that. So then you'll see it then and that will go up like after my wedding <laughs> probably so that the girls don't cheat and see what they're getting. Um, but I was really pumped about it. I even got myself some because they were like so cool so I was pumped about that at least it wasn't a total like fail but yeah now I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx across the street and see if they have anything and if they don't I might just like call it good and see if the dress I ordered from Amazon works so I'll go home and see if that works and if not I mean we'll just wing it and I'm sure I have a ton of black in my closet that I could wear but you know sometimes you just want to like play I'm the bride card and wear white <laughs> So I was trying to find like a white dress or a white outfit. It's like, when else can you wear all white? But oh well, if I can't, I can't. And then I'll just go with black. Fingers crossed, TJ Maxx will have something similar to the dress I found here. I just, ugh, that was perfect. I'm so bummed, but if they had one size bigger, I think I would have been fine. But oh well, on to the next. <laughs> okay, so TJ Maxx had like zero white things that didn't look like old lady-ish so I didn't get an outfit there and then I did go into home goods but again I didn't really find anything oh at TJ Maxx I did pick up actually a box of 50 thank you cards so that I have more thank you cards after our shower this weekend because I bought 50 at Walmart and they cost me $12 and this pack of 50 was only six so I was like Heck yeah, I'm getting them here instead. So I thought I'd just go ahead and pick up those because I know we're going to need them. But otherwise, no luck with an outfit. So I'm just going to go home now and hopefully my Amazon package is there and the dress I ordered off Amazon works perfectly and I love it. So otherwise, we'll have to find a new outfit. Like I said, I'm just going to head home now. I know I do have another package that arrived today. I got a notification that it was delivered so we'll open that and I'll show you my dress from Amazon too so fingers crossed that one works okay guys so I just got home and my packages are here so let's go ahead and open them the first one I got is from Jeffree Star Cosmetics so what I got from them was just two liquid lipsticks and they are both in the shade mannequin one I wanted to pick up for me and one I had to restock my kit with and I actually purchased this last year for my kit without ever trying it myself and normally I don't do that and last year this became like my go-to nude for brides. I really like the formula of Jeffree Star Cosmetics like their liquid lipsticks. They're very light like you don't even feel them on and they last a very long time. Next we got my Amazon package with which is that white dress okay so the brand I ordered from is iconic Lux, and I mean the packaging looks nice the tag looks all fancy with like a rose gold pin and a little ribbon holding the tag on I have a good feeling about this one so fingers crossed it works and then this will be my outfit this weekend I'll try this on in just a little bit because I also want to show you the bridesmaids dresses okay so this is what it looks like it just has a very soft v um, neckline like little thin spaghetti straps and then it's just kind of like a blouse top and then a plain skirt just like a true taupey brownie gray color 
and we wanted like very neutral so this is the bridesmaid's dress color and then the guys are going to be in navy and then the back is just like a little zipper and yeah I think they look so pretty we're going to dress them up with jewelry um, but I wanted their dresses to be pretty plain this just needs to be like steamed out a little bit if you guys are interested it is by the designer Bill Lovecoff it was such a struggle to find bridesmaid's dresses like I can't even begin to tell you but thankfully we found these ones and I absolutely love them so now what I think I'm gonna do is pack my stuff for this weekend because I am leaving tomorrow which is Friday so I want to get my bag all set and then also all the shower gifts we got at my shower I'm also bringing over to our house um, where Jared lives so I'm gonna pack everything up and kind of organize and then I will touch base with you guys later I'm gonna try that dress on too if it fits, I will show you guys what it looks like. If not, I mean, we gave it a good shot today. And I'll show you what black outfit I'm wearing because I don't have any more white options, really. So, fingers crossed it works, but we'll see. Okay, guys, so don't mind the mess everywhere. I've been in the middle of packing and cleaning out and getting ready to move. So, there's kind of junk everywhere, but this is my dress. Um... I actually really love it. It's super comfortable. It has pockets. Um, the only thing is I had to put a slip on, if you can see kind of right there, because it was pretty see-through like in that area. So I just threw a slip on underneath and it fixed the problem. And I really like it. It's just like wearing like a t-shirt dress. It's so comfy. I just threw my black and white necklace on with it. My hair is going to be down and curled, but I think I might also put a belt on with it um I have a black one I'll show you what that looks like too and then here it is with the belt I can't decide if I want to wear the belt or not I feel like it looks more like bridey without the black belt in the middle so I haven't decided yet I think either way looks really cute but yeah so this is gonna be my outfit it goes well below my knees and it goes up a little bit on the sides um, which I think is really cute it's super flowy and yeah I really love it hey guys so it's a little while later it's actually 6 30 and I just finished packing and I think now I am going to just go shower and get ready to self tan because with that white dress I do need a little bit of color <laughs> so that's my plan for the rest of the night and then I'll just kind of hang out and go to bed once that's done. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I really hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me today. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.